dentistry in 2 minutes. I am Dr. Megha and today we are going to learn about pulpotomy in 2 minutes. Pulpotomy is a vital pulp therapy procedure. When a primary tooth pulp is diagnosed to be normal, reversibly damaged, accidentally exposed during a traumatic injury or during an operative procedure, we can go ahead and do a pulpotomy. So when is it really indicated? Clinically, when we examine the tooth, the tooth has to be restorable in nature. The patient has to give a history of only reversible pulpitis and not irreversible pulpitis. So what is reversible pulpitis? So when the pain is present, the pain has to be provoked in nature which disappears 5 to 10 minutes after the removal of the stimuli. There should not be any history of any spontaneous pain, swelling, mobility or tenderness on percussion. Radiographically, there should not be any interradicular bone loss, interradicular radiolucencies or periradicular radiolucencies. Pulpotomy involves the removal of only the coronal portion of the pulp followed by the placement of a medicament which promotes the healing and preserves the vitality of the tooth. The most common medicaments that are commonly used are formocrisol, ferric sulfate, glutaraldehyde, MTA, biodentine, etc. There are different types of pulpotomies, the main ones being vital and non-vital pulpotomy. In vital pulpotomy, again we have three subcategories, devitalization, preservation and regeneration. Devitalization uses formocrisol which causes the fixation of the pulp tissues, whereas in preservation there is minimal fixation of the pulp tissues while preserving the vitality of the tooth. And this type of pulpotomy mainly uses ferric sulfate and glutaraldehyde. And the regeneration type involves the formation of a dentinal bridge for preserving the vitality of the tooth. And for this type of pulpotomy, we mainly use MTA, biomorphogenetic protein or biodentine. I hope the basic concept of pulpotomy is clear for all. I will be back with another video. Until then, bye-bye. Thank you.